Ah, time for another sweet, sweet Google algorithm update. <laughs> time for all of us website owners to passively, aggressively mumble cuss words under our breath. All the while, still trying to appear like we know what the HE double hockey sticks is Google up to. Hi, my name is Jared Mitchell, and over the last 15 years, I've sold over $30 million in physical product sales over an online shopping cart, not including Amazon. And currently, I'm the head of e commerce for Neil Patel. Good news! This bad boy appears to be much simpler than you think. Don't worry, I am here to help, and I'm gonna tell you in under two minutes the who, what, when, where, why, and how. I'm gonna include screenshots and show you how you can be prepared and fix it. And I'm gonna try to explain it to you like you're all fourth graders. Okay, not really, that's a joke, but let's do this anyway. The newest Google algorithm update is called the Page Experience Update. Gosh, why can't they make these things sound cooler from now on? These names are so boring. Remember when they had Panda and Penguin? Those were cool, right? Everyone loves a panda. Okay, so for now, the good stuff. Who? Everyone with the website, that's all of us. And Google, have you ever heard of them? Yeah, the ones, they still control 92% of search. What is it? It's a new measurement from Google, the Page Experience Measurement. It's a combination of core web vitals, whatever those are, maybe just Google them, performance of your website from a technical and on-page perspective, and mobile usability. So basically, let's make sure your website loads quickly, loads properly, and does not have a bunch of crappy code and viruses, right? When? Now this is unique. It starts mid-May, like now, and goes all the way till August. And I will say the timeline is super unique in that it's a little bit longer than we're used to. Why? Google's always looking to improve the overall web and its search, right? So this update will become a factor no matter your website. That's e-commerce, that's any sort of website for traffic and rankings. Where? Okay, let's talk about Google Search Console. If you don't know what that is, make sure you set it up like yesterday. You can set it up really easily, search by the name of your platform like Shopify, and how to set up Google Search Console. Set it up right away. If you've already got Google Search Console set up, I'm gonna show you right now with some screenshots how you can use it to on page experience. For this and this here algorithm is update. your new section. Core Web Vitals, the URLs marked as poor, Fix those right away. You will also see a section that says needs improvement. Check those out as well. And mobile usability, make sure you click on that on the left and fix any of those mobile issues. If you're able to fix these URLs marked as poor and needs improvement URLs and the mobile usability issues, you're gonna be sitting pretty for this most recent algorithm update. So how do you fix them? Well, for most of us, like myself, you're gonna need a developer to fix these for you. And so I'd strongly encourage you to reach out to your developer to get these fixed. So that's it. Now you know how to be proactive so you can get ahead of this new update and not get penalized. If you have any questions, post them below the video and make sure to like and comment and follow me. And thank you so much for watching.